Did you hear that? That is thunder. Moi. There it is. 12,000 years ago, this is how the map of Europe would have looked like. It was the Ice Age, and most of the continent was covered by glaciers and temperatures wouldn't go above zero at any point of the year. And this is how Finland will have looked like. Mountains and mountains of ice. No liquid water in sight as everything will have been frozen. But nothing lasts forever. The ice age finally came to an end and everything began to melt. And why am I telling you this? Because this helps to explain what you are about to see next. Moi! Привет! Como esta? Namskar! I'm gonna change the Namskar for Namaste. Somebody from India told me that Namaste is a way to say hi in India that is more understood by the whole country. So I guess I will say Namaste from now on. I have noticed that the videos I like doing the most are those ones where something strange or unexplained or weird uh, happens. I don't know why, just the way it is. Also, I think the music that I can add to that kind of mysterious videos is, is a music that I like more. Let's talk about Kummakivi, the strangest rock in Finland. For those that don't speak Finnish, Kummakivi means, try to guess, Kummakivi means strange rock, because the rock is strange. This strange rock is a natural occurrence located here in Finland and it has been on the same spot for around 12,000 years. 12,000 years! I think humans, we are not good when we have to try to understand time. Why, why did I start this video? I need to show this rock now instead of just talking about it. But how far away is that place? It's three hours drive. Three hours drive one way, three hours drive back. And Flem Rock has fallen into disrepair. Oh man, we gotta see it before it's destroyed. Here, yeah, Flem Rock is a long way away. No problem. We'll road trip. Okay, let's road trip then. But first, remember as always, if you liked the video or any video in the past, consider subscribing and please hit the like button then the YouTube algorithm recommends the video more. As a thank you, here is a picture of a baby wolf. Finally, after three hours of driving, that was a long drive. Uh, we are here, near Kummakivi. Now we have to walk a little bit through the forest and see if we can find it, so let's go. If this rock has been here for so long time, how many people have been walking this same path for years, hundreds of years? Maybe some visiting Vikings, maybe some visiting Slavic tribes, who knows, but now we are walking this path as well and it's, it's quite interesting how silent it is I will stop moving for a moment you can't hear anything nothing so this is the perfect perfect setting for a horror movie and there was a car parked along the path, so maybe there might be Moi I bet you anything that that, that that guy probably tried to flip the, the kiwi 
Did you hear that? That is thunder now in the sky. Which adds a little bit more to the horror movie factor of this adventure. Okay, horror movie thing number three. Some kind of a... Is it abandoned? It doesn't look abandoned, but some kind of mocky or cottage. And I just heard some twigs snapping, so... Shh, do you hear the thunder? There it is. The strange thing. Thing number four that could make this a scary movie there is some footprint of some kind of demon in the ground Puma Kiwi or the strange rock is seven meters long and five meters high and the weight is 500 tons that's why no one is able to flip this rock over one thing that you won't be able to see in the pictures is that I thought uh, when I was reading the description of Kuma Kiwi that there was a mistake in the translation or something like that because I couldn't see from the pictures of the pine tree that is supposed to be growing on top of the rock if you see the pictures, if you google them, you won't see it, but it is there is this one over here is just growing on top of the kiwi and again, just imagine how many people if this stone has been here, if this rock has been here for so long how many people in the course of Hundreds of years have tried to <laughs> tip this stone. Anyone that was coming to Finland probably was trying to tip this stone over or rock, whichever way you want to call it. How did this balan natural balancing act came to be? Some people say that it was a giant that grabbed the rock and put it on top of the other rock, just for fun. And scientists say that this rock has been here for around 12,000 years and it has been here because it was the ice age as you saw in the start of the video and at some point it all started melting and all of these big masses of ice melting were constantly causing the rocks to move and shuffle around and by chance one of those rocks when everything melted ended up on top of a smaller rock okay I have been sitting here thinking for a while but I think now it's time to go because it seems like the forecast said just clouds but now it's thundering and I think it's going to rain now we must say goodbye rock that has been pushed by Vikings before me how long more this rock is going to be there doing this eternal balancing act probably not forever so either by the actions of humans or nature one day that Kumma Kiwi will be no more so I recommend you to grab a map Google Maps a car a bicycle a scooter and come see Kumakibi. You know what? I'm not going to go. No, it's too far away. I'm just gonna go take a nap now.